Okay, my name's Akashi, guys, and Legends just got serious. It just got serious. It's probably some of you guys have already made your decision, but today we're doing a Should You Summon on Ultra Rose. Now, the Legends devs are not good people because yesterday I was literally talking about skipping Ultra Hit, who's also here. Very, very bad devs. These guys are very, very bad people because they know people are going to spend their money, literally empty their pockets to try and 14 stars these ultras. Or if not that, just get a copy. But the fact that they've had both on at the same time in just a short time frame is insane. That's insane. But what it just screams to me is that if anything, if part three is ultra Vegito Blue, right? Because that's what's been being hyped up. I've been pushing the agenda, so maybe it's my fault. I don't know. But cool, let's say part 3 actually is Ultra Vegito Blue, right? Because there's actually no real reason why it would be. There could be anything. Let's say it is. What it screams to me is that they're going to rerun Ultra Gogeta Blue right before or Ultra Super Vegito right before or if anything, Ultra Super Gogeta again. If not all three, I don't know how, but they're going to. Because if they're doing Rose this early, they're definitely going to rerun more Ultras closer to the time. So you might want to consider skipping for any of the other Ultras. But one thing I do want to point out is that if they do actually drop Ultra Vegito Blue, Ultra Rose is going to be his best friend on future, man. That team is going to be stupid dumb. Put Ultra VB on the leader slot because he's probably going to have the Fusion Warrior thing for his Ultra ability. And then Ultra Rose is future and the whole team is future. So they're both getting their max Ultra ability. It's going to be dumb because Fusion Warriors have amazing tags. But I'm going on a bit too far now. You want to know if you should summon on Ultra Rose. And honestly, honestly, looking at what part two is leading to be. So let me actually open up the news. Um, I think we can actually find it in the news what I'm looking for. You know how they, they're dropping the free to play units. Uh, they got Kula and 13 right here. The fact that they've dropped these two units, it's most likely going to be a movies unit. Because both of these units here, Kula and Android 13, are both movies units. So, if you are thinking that movies is not for you, you can very well skip. But I want to point out that there's a very high possibility that Beast Gohan, because he released prior to the festival, which is quite a long time ago, last year, he's very likely to be on the banner. So, if you're looking forward to grabbing Beast Gohan, and on top of that, new units, at least two new units. So I'm talking about one Legends Limited and one Sparking that's new. That could be to your cup of tea, you know, you could, you might, that might be what you like. So a lot of people have been chasing Beast Gohan, so that's one reason why you shouldn't summon on Ultra Rose. Because there's very likely Beast Gohan coming around the corner. I'm not guaranteeing it, but I'm saying maybe within the next two weeks, three weeks, they're going to drop a new banner. And uh, Beast Gohan's going to be on that banner with two other units, Legend Limited and a 1% Sparking. Maybe two 1% Sparkings that could actually be to your liking and help you in PvP. They could be very broken as well. But following the trend of last year, the Part 2 unit was the most mid thing ever with Dragon Fist. So I'm not going to have my hopes up too high. But movie units are, generally speaking, very, very good. So if you're looking forward to actually just getting a new movie unit or Beast Gohan specifically, then the next banner might be for you and Ultra Rose won't be for you. That's one reason to summon. Another reason to sum to not... Um, another, that's one reason to not summon. Another reason to not summon is simply because you're already low on CZ. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. You probably spent a lot of CC on Gold Freezer. Hits been a going about my time skip is unbeatable hitting you like with these with these crazy combos. Like you're probably low on CCs. If you didn't summon on Gold Freezer, you're probably summoned on hit. And if you didn't, then you're good and you probably already have some self control, so you don't need this video. But if you're in the either category so you summon on the gold freezer or you summon on hit you're probably low on cc so chasing another ultra even though this might be the one you would have preferred you're already in the mud so chasing it with pennies you're probably gonna just get kicked further in the mud unless you're one of those lucky people who just pull everything even if you do pull ultra rose let's say in the hypothetical scenario you don't have him so you don't have one copy of ultra rose you don't own the unit so if you go to your character box right go to character list and then you look at your ultras right he doesn't show up here because you don't have him if you don't have him in that case even if you did get him he'd only be five stars and with him, with him being five stars he's not going to do the most damage long term or even at all on any of your teams that you run let's be honest unless you've got an amazing bench like for me when i remember when i had rose five stars i personally didn't enjoy using him i felt like he was a lot weaker with hit not to make the comparison directly, but I'm going to anyway. So, hit a five star hit feels like a 
eight star rose only because hits time skip is literally like a guaranteed kill but with rose you literally have to work for it on the defensive side you're really gonna feel the five star so even if you did get him on your low chrono crystals you're not really gonna feel the weight of what he can do in my opinion but of course the sole real reason why a lot of you guys bro only will have already made your decision is simply because rose is cool every time somebody talked to me about rose i asked him what do you like about rose and then they'll be like oh he's so cold he's so cold man how can you not like rose they never give me an actual reason and that's a good enough reason to summon if we're being honest the pink hair's tough the black clothes are tough him with the, with the poses the scythe everything about him is tough all reason to want him i understand but we're thinking long term and how long is that lust and i'm calling it lust that you're gonna have for rose is it gonna last is it really worth it to summon right now with the scraps and pennies that you have you're probably looking at my 49 thousand chrono crystals right now like damn this is a cashy guy flexing on us i'm not i'm saving for you guys at the end of the day as well but i'm gonna do another video on that but really and truly i don't think rose all in all out because of the time he's dropping is necessarily worth it unless you're skipping part two entirely so if you're planning all right cool i'm gonna summon on part two then i'm gonna summon on the ultra which is gonna be part three because there is going to be an anniversary ultra i want to put that out there they could drop a new whole thing as well it could be an ultra lf i'm just putting it out there to kind of just like make you to think back of the fact that you could skip an ultra lf just putting it out there i'm not saying that it's going to come but it's a possibility so be very careful when summoning uh but i'm not going to lie if you do get rose but the guys that do summon and do get lucky you're, you're gonna be doing good let me even check if he's still boosted because they they be they be they be cheesing with rose oh god ranks up let me actually check if he's boosted because that i'm pretty sure he was still boosted they didn't make sense why he would be but they're really trying to make him look good like they don't have hit boosted but they have rose boosted rose did release after and but like he should be off the boost by now so another reason why you might want to summon is that rose is on the boost so he's going to be doing good right now and it'll help you actually get to god rank why he's boosted still i have no idea they need to take him off the boost hit's not boosted so maybe that might take you away but hit does hit hard regardless i'm trying to think if there's anything else for me to say oh the biggest and final point i should have actually mentioned this earlier this should have been the first driving point but ultra banners are just horrible they're just horrible if you're not paid to win there's no pity system so if you summon you're probably going to get bad luck and if the steps like the steps are not even good bro you're getting these red legend tickets right I'd say if you even summon a bunch and get a bunch of those red legend tickets, you'll be spending them in an exchange shop, which pretty much gives you nothing. Like, look, I've got a thousand on me right now, but obviously if you don't have a lot of characters 14 star, then this is going to be an effective exchange shop for you. But for me, it's not. For me, it's really, really not. Like, a lot of the sparklings I would want are not there. And look at this, 10 slot removes for 400. What kind of incredible scam is that? So really and truly, from the ultra banners, you're not getting much from it. I will add though, if you're new to the game, the Ultra Rose banner might actually be effective for you. Because if I look at the Z Power list, we can actually see that you can build a decent team. So if you get Zamasu a lot of times and you get Ultra Rose, that's two out of three units to build a team instantly. That's wild. Say if you had Jiren, Yellow Jiren, just put him on the leader slot. That makes your team solid as hell. That is wild. Trunks, these guys are really outdated, but they can be Zenkai buffs. So VB, if you get seven stars, that's a Zenkai buff. If you're summoning a lot, that's a Zenkai buff. This guy, if you get seven stars, that's a Zenkai buff for Rose. This purple guy and Trunks, Trunks not Zenkai buff, but the real purple Rose can be for future. And you might just want the Zenkai buff on standby. I'm just giving you guys the options if you are summoning, but like people are in different conditions. So definitely just like leave a comment down below and I'll try to get to it as fast as I can. But I will de generally say my general consensus is to skip. But if you're skipping part two, I give the green light to summon because Ultra Rose is going to fit very well with Ultra VB if he does drop. And a lot of people are going to be using Ultra Rose now more than ever. I think I'm actually going to try 14 star within the next couple of days. I really want Ultra Rose 14 star to be the duo with Ultra VB and that future team. So I'm going to definitely work towards that. But I think I'm going to leave the video like that. The legend devs are very bad people for dropping these guys back to back, man. <laughs> That's insane. You got 12 days though. So you can wait the hotel 12 days. There's no rush. That's literally just under two weeks, which would be when probably a new unit would drop, which is quite unfortunate. So if today's Wednesday, it'll be two days before. So it'll finish on like the Sunday or the Monday. And then we'll have the reveals and stuff on Tuesday. If there is going to be a reveals and stuff, they might just do a uh, Trunks and Vigio or Android 17 and just drop a Twitter video. And then we'll get a new unit on Wednesday. So if that's the case, 
there'll literally be two days before you realize what the actual new unit is even if you wanted to wait 12 days is a long time though so you do have time to think but i'm holding you guys up now press the subscribe button man we're on this grind to 50 000 subscribers i'm very close to 50 000 chronicles and we're very close to 50 000 subscribers so if you're new here you know what to do here press that red button man i'm holding you guys up thank you guys for watching good luck if you're summoning good luck more so if you're saving because the temptations be crazy there's probably going to be a limit break banner coming up as well but yeah my name is akashi guys and i'll see you guys in the next one man these devs are these devs are insane